I've never done anything like this before. I'm not a travel influencer. Can I be a digital nomad? I am one half of Chloe and Becky Zach. I have decided to take a solo trip to Mexico for a month. I don't know about you, but I've never really done anything on my own. I wonder what a whole month is like. It might be the craziest thing I've ever decided to do. And so I figured it might be a great opportunity to document it. I'm gonna be so honest with you guys. I want you to know what it feels like to travel alone, to take a big risk, to not know where your money's coming from. I wanna figure out how to make travel a bigger part of my life. It's really tempting, like you see it everywhere. All these like travel influencers that just seem to hop between different countries just having a whale of a time, vlogging and swimming and whatever else. And there's this whole trend of being a digital nomad, which basically means you make sure your work is remote. You can travel and live anywhere while you're working, which is awesome. I'm single, I don't have any kids. And so I figured it might be a good chance just to make a big change and see what might happen next. And I want to sort of see how hard it is to be a digital nomad and have this freedom and I kind of want to do it so you guys don't have to like google a hundred different things if you're interested in it too because this is what I did I like watched a million different YouTube channels and read articles on it it's hard to like know how much of it is authentic because a lot of people are being sponsored literally by digital nomad channels so they're meant to make it kind of look like accessible so I want to try it for real so my skill set is video production and social media managing both are pretty easy to do remotely my goals are to meet people and network for friendships and for work with people who are based in the US and like manage to work around the world. So I did the obvious things like find someone to look after my apartment and my cat and my car, all the things that I don't want to give up because this is a test run. I also joined some uh, expat communities on Facebook. So I've been chatting and asking questions on Facebook, you know, things like how do I get around? Lonely Planet has good forums, especially if you want to meet people. Then I Googled what the most lively hostels are. Supposedly if you're a solo traveler, you'll mostly want to hang out in hostels because there's a ton of other people there on their own that want to make friends and do stuff together. If I'm ever feeling shy and I don't want to do things alone, I, I'll just pop down to a hostel and make some friends that are my age and probably much younger. Basically, this series is gonna be me documenting fun parts and like doing adventures on the weekends. And then the weekdays, I wanna take a realistic look at what spending that much time alone is like. So I'm two weeks out from my trip. Don't have that much left to do apart from learn more Spanish. It's hard to know what to prepare. So I'm just gonna get there and then be alone in an Airbnb. I'm just gonna go to the nice hotels on the beach and work remotely from there, just figuring my stuff out, editing these videos. I'm nothing special. I've never done anything like this before. I'm not a travel influencer in any way. So if I can make something happen by the end of this month, then, then maybe you can too. So this is the test run of can I be a digital nomad?